billion acres of public land is a lot of territory. Unless you like the feeling of being a solitary angler on one of the best trout rivers in the world. A big hole in Montana. Then it's only a thin cushion, if you look at it realistically, between you and a lot of tangled lines on a bridge. established as a national park about a century ago. Only a handful of people had ever seen it or knew what a spectacular piece of real estate Yellowstone was. It seemed extravagant almost to set aside these two million acres for the public. Later, more people heard about it and saw pictures of it and talked about it. But still, few went there. Even 20 years ago, you could drive through the park and hardly meet a soul. But today, with a growing population that moves everywhere on wheels, Yellowstone is more a national backyard than a national park. anywhere in the world. And people are sociable. They like to look at each other and at each other's kids and old faithful too, going off right on schedule. around you, and you can't beat the public lands of the West, or incidentally, rock hounding is permitted. If you feel that way about things, half a billion acres doesn't seem a lot anymore. to pack off cross country for days on end. It doesn't seem like a lot either. If you like to go it on foot, following a route like the old prospector's trail along the Rogue River in Oregon, then the pathfinder will sense looking down something else, that a wild river like the Rogue needs a stage 200 miles long to present properly its own unique spectacular which includes a whitewater boating act that rivals any in the world. million acres of watershed to produce a river like the Rogue. But they are not simply idle and idyllic acres. They pay their own keep many times over. Here on the Rogue watershed, the west slope of the Cascade Range is the most productive timberland in the United States. 
This magnificent forest of Douglas fir is managed by the Bureau so that a portion is logged annually without diminishing the stand. The timber is harvested by the highest bidder and the revenue from this operation is shared between local governments and the federal government and thus underwrite the Bureau's expenses. In the case of Douglas fir, a whole tract is logged completely like that new seedlings need. Once the tract has been logged, the seedlings emerge, reforesting this fertile tract of timberland. Public lands produce revenues in other ways. They may be leased for oil drilling, tapping underground resources that also yield natural gas, potash, sulfur, and helium. Ranchers also lease these lands for grazing, about 160 million acres of them. In many instances, they afford multiple use. Surface grazing, while at the same time underground oil and other mineral resources are tapped. 